it's barbecue season. What does that have to do with gardening? Well, you know, we've got our barbecue going, we've got our hamburger out, what are we going to put on it? You know, we can grow all those condiments right there in our garden. You know, what we need is a location with about six plus hours of sun per day. Uh, the sunnier the spot, the better. We want to till that area down, you know, eight inches to a foot deep. And if you have a big area, you might want to think about getting a rototiller. Uh, just rent one for a few hours. Uh, while you're rototilling, and once we kind of get it going good, before we put the rototiller away, let's add in some peat moss or some compost and maybe some fertilizer, and let's rototill that down into the soil. And when we start planting, let's not put our plants too close together. You know, that's a big mistake. Uh, people put the plants close together because you think, hey, I'm going to get more plants if I squeeze more in here. But, you know, they basically end up just competing you know, with each other for the nutrients, and you know, they don't do as well. You know, tomatoes, you know, you're talking a foot and a half to four foot in space between tomato plants. So, you know, we want to be sure we have good spacing, you know, read the labels. And what we can do is take some of the shorter lived plants, you know, the ones that grow a little bit quicker, and plant them in between, you know, say, for instance, our, our tomatoes. Let's plant those, you know, short-term plants in. And those are called companion plants. And you can, uh, you know, when you're going to the nursery, just ask for some companion plants that'll fit in between, you know, your long-term plants. And the other thing to keep in mind is once we've got all this set up and going, we've got them growing, we're watering them, the most important thing we can do is keep up with the weeding. You know, just like uh, planting the plants too close together lets them compete, we don't want weeds to get in there and starve out our plants, not the ones that we want. So there we go. Let's set up a little barbecue garden, also known as a vegetable garden. And uh, next time we have a barbecue, you can just walk right over and you know, grab the fixings right throughout of your yard.